Hi, this is Christina West. Welcome to the studio. Today, I want to invite you to hear a story. Once upon a time, long, long ago, in a land far, far away in deep winter, a little boy falls asleep on Christmas Eve. And for 13 days and nights, he sleeps and he wakes up January 6th and he runs down to the church and he tells the congregation, his community, these marvelous journeys he took through the 12 holy nights. Olaf Ostesen. Every year I reopen it. It's an art and dream workshop. It's actually sort of a retreat that I offer. It's only for the whole, open for the Holy Nights. So Olaf Ostesen is a Norwegian dream song that was lost in time. And it was rediscovered by a clergyman named Lanstad one winter's evening when he heard it in Telmark, Norway. This is an ancient oral tradition. It's a dream song. So this was actually sung to the community as a hero's journey. And as Joseph Campbell tells us, the hero's journey is the lure of the journey, is the danger and the, the treasure that can be sought within a hero's or heroine's journey. So my background is that I've taught men and women's groups for years. I did shamanic work. I was a healer uh, in my community. I did lots of community arts. I went to Berkeley and got my master's in cross-cultural sacred iconography. And I'm always doing something within the transformational arts and consciousness. Um, I have a free podcast that you can listen to. Olaf is actually up and I've been doing podcasts for about three years. So I wanted to see if I could bring the work that I would do with the men and women, which was deep, transformational, beautiful, profound work. We would sit in circle three, four months in a cycle, and then we would do a retreat. And the work was, uh, we'd do shamanic journey work, we would do artwork, we would do council circle, we would do a ritual, we would do uh, shamanic healing and I wrote a book actually um, alchemy the magical arts of the union of soul which is really the work that I did in those groups and still is a profound uh, piece of work for people who want some personal transformation so my idea was how can I bring the work that I've done that is just living in me and how can I transform that in a new way for people who can access it on the computer in the privacy of their homes and do an art and dream retreat. So I've been a dream teacher as well um, all my life. My dad who came from Germany when Hitler was rising to power, he was a tremendous dreamer and he taught me sort of the, um, the mystics uh, journey into dream work. And so I have a good grounding in dream work, psychological, shamanic, Western mystery traditions, religious, so different cultures. Um, I like to address dreams in all kinds of ways. So Olaf Ostesen is an art and dream retreat for yourself. And holy nights are considered time outside of time. So there are 12 days that are sort of mysterious and magical and potent. There are time really where we are tying up the end of the year and mapping our new year. So the Holy Nights are from December 24th to January 6th, Epiphany or the Three Kings Day. So it is in the Norse mythology, it's in the Norse traditions, which is Christian. And it is a picture of an initiation journey. And Joseph Campbell has also uh, talked to us about what an initiation is. An initiation means to start. It's really to start a new project, to start a new life, to start a new intention, to start a new uh, discipline. So Holy Nights is really a wonderful time to retreat into yourself from December 24th to the end of the year is 
sort of tying up the end of the year. And then we have the new year into January 6th is the beginning of the new year. And the Holy Nights, one of the secrets of Holy Nights is that each night is a constellation. So Olaf falls asleep and he journeys into the cosmos and he journeys through earth, air, fire, and water. But every, every night he, he tra traverses a constellation. So you're actually traveling through the zodiac as well. And each zodiac has a special, potent, evocative, well, mystery to impart. So Olaf learns these. So, so we go through the 12 constellations of the zodiac and we have snippets of the poem to ponder. So we take parts of the poem, which are, as I said, divided into 12 parts. And we work that poem in our hearts and we make a little sketch. So it's really about 20 minutes a day would be really what you need to bring to it. Uh, I would suggest having a dream journal, a pen by your bed at night, and maybe a pen light so that you can write your dreams. Because the dreams that we receive on holy nights are really sacred. It's a sacred journey into our soul and into the cosmos every night. Because we too are falling asleep and dreaming. And we can follow Olaf in his journey through the cosmos. So depending on what you bring to Olaf is what you'll get back. So if you sort of put your heart and soul into Olaf, then Olaf Austin will put his heart and soul back into you. I mean, this is a tremendous imagination story to live into over holy nights and we lost countless souls, didn't we, this year? So there's also a second invitation with Olaf, if you're willing, that you could actually do Olaf for the people who have passed across the threshold. So this is extremely shamanic, but I think most people understand the idea of, you know, when... Um, Christ was walking with his cross and the man came in and helped carry the cross. This is a, a real picture of what we have seen, how people how have helped each other this past year. Tremendous courage and caring and generosity and compassion were witnessed globally. So there is this idea of intention and the intention and this is what i'm going to be doing this year i'm going to be doing doing olaf and i do olaf uh, pretty much every year now but this year my intention is to gift back into the spiritual worlds and the people who have crossed any merit that i might gather you know do, doing my daily dream work doing my you know participating with Olaf, like I will become Olaf. And the invitation for you is for you to become Olaf as well. So that we all become Olaf. We all experience these tremendous journeys and spiritual trials that he has to overcome. And we also will overcome these trials. And this is a 12 day rhythm over these secret quiet holy nights that are creating a map for your new year. Now, I will be honest with you and say that I have never introduced Olaf like this before. And I think it's required now because I think we've all grown up this year. And there is a deeper way to do art. There is a deeper way to do dream work. There's a deeper way to do our work in the world in a way that's more in harmony with the anima mundi, the world soul. So that's just the beginning of a huge story. But my invitation for you, I really hope you give it a try. So that's Olaf Ostesen 
at Christina West Art, K R I S T E N A. And the registration is open, and it'll be open until we close it, which will be just before probably the 20. 22nd because we have people in New Zealand, we have people in Norway, so there's that time difference. So we want to make sure it's open for them. And then we, we close the, the registration. So Olaf is open now. And let me tell you the way I actually designed Olaf. So when a shaman lays down, does his journey or her journey, these long, they're called far journeys. They're, they're going, traveling far, 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 far in the universe to bring back these stories. So the idea is in Germany, you get a stocking at the end of your bed. If you don't have you know, a fireplace in your bedroom, we would hang our stocking at the end of our bed with these really big, you know, safety pins. And the way you knew Santa came is you would wake up when it was still dark, you know, and it was Christmas, and you would put your foot at the end of the bed and you'd lift your toes up and you'd try to see if, you know, it was heavy because that meant Santa had come. So I was a total believer in Santa and still am. And that is what I did with Olaf. Every day there are beautiful images and stories that are rich treasures and poems and quotes from great artists and poets and scholars so that we also are traveling far in the universe. Every night we're moving out into the universe and coming back with our dream journals, with our with our great hearts, we're traveling with Olaf, we're his companions, we're his staunch, upright companions for good, you know? And, and so that's why I've loaded this, the class, it's not in the book because the book would have been, you know, 400 pages, but the class itself is just loaded with goodies. So I do invite you to take, take the class, the online class. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay, thank you so much. And let's see, if you, before I uh, end this, you can find Christina West Art at Facebook. You can find Christina West Art on my new YouTube channel, which I must say I'm loving. I've done free podcasts for three years. You can listen to the podcast for Olaf Osterson. And I'm also going to be doing um, some either live or pre-recorded Zoom uh, lessons for Olaf during the Holy Nights. Okay. So I hope that gives you a little bit more idea of Olaf Osterson, an initiation journey, a dream song. All right. Thanks so much. And let's get creative.